name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let's all pray for James Marianan, who celebrates his birthday today. In a very special way, let us pray for his family members, for everyone who's connected with him. That the Lord may bless him with good health of body, mind, and soul. I would like to also offer Mass for all of you who are attending every day without fail. I pray for all your family members, pray for your good health, pray for your well-being. To enter into this beautiful celebration, let us recall to our minds all our unworthiness, the sinful nature, and ask the Lord's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, Unto my, you brothers my brothers and, and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on your servants gathered here. Lord, have mercy on your servants gathered here. We confess we have sins in thoughts, words, and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your servants, gather yours. Christ, have mercy on your servants, gather yours. Christ, have mercy on your servants, gather yours. We confess we have sins in thoughts, words, and deeds. Christ, have mercy on your servants, gathers you. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy from those you have rescued from slavery to sin. You bestow eternal gladness. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 46, 
verses 1 to 7, 28 to 30. Israel took his journey with all that he had, and came to Beersheba, and offered sacrifice to God of his father Isaac. And God spoke to Israel in, in visions of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, Here am I. Then he said, I am God, he God of uh, your father. Do not be afraid to go down with you, Egypt, for I will there make you a great nation. I will go down with you, Egypt, and I will also bring you up again. And Joseph's hand shall close your eyes. Then Jacob set out fr from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel carried Jacob their father, their little ones, and their wives in the wagons which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They also took their cattle and their goods, which they had gained in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his offspring with him, his, go his sons and his sons' sons with him, his daughters and his sons' daughters, all his offspring he brought with him to Egypt. He sent Judah before him to Joseph, and appeared before him in Goshen, and they came into the land of Goshen. Then Joseph made ready him chariot and went up to meet Israel his father in the Goshen. And he presented himself to him, and fell on his neck, and wept on his neck a good while. Israel said to Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen your face and know that you are still alive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let your response be, The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. If you trust in the Lord and go and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, He will grant your heart's desire. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Your response? The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Your response? The salvation, the salvation of, of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice and will never forsake his friends. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Your response? The, the salvation, salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, the stronghold, the stronghold in times of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in Him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Your response? The, the salvation, salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! Harden not your hearts today. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake to bear testimony before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you up, do not be anxious how you ought to speak or what you ought to say, for what you, will, you ought to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of the Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver up brother to death, and father his child. Children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I say to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, the virtue that the Lord asks all of us to have and to pray to God, to the Spirit, to have is prudence. And today this is very, very important uh, virtue that we need to really uh, cherish and we need to follow it. Sometimes um, it is a bit misunderstood with being very diplomatic. Being diplomatic is you try to have your way. You talk in such a way that your agenda is carried through. You try to persuade people, you try to convince people. Being diplomatic, yes, it is very good for marketing. But being prudent is very, very spiritual. It has a very high meaning. Uh, in the sense, here, here we, we have the snake is being given as an example of being cunning. If you analyze a snake, we all know that we, we, we are all scared of snake that it might come and harm us. But generally, if you analyze the characteristics of a snake, it will try to be in the hiding. If it knows that the enemy is coming in the opposite direction, it will try to flee away. To put it very simply, um, in simple words, a snake will not unnecessarily expose itself. When does it charge someone? There's no other option, no other go. It has to fight. Yeah, it is ready. That's why a snake will not, on its own, will not come and bite someone. It tries to uh, skip away. So being prudent would mean we need not unnecessarily expose ourselves. But at the same time, yes, there are there are times we have to we have to exhibit, we have to uh, tell uh, tell things straight on the face. All that is fine, but unnecessarily exposing ourselves, that is where we we get into lots and lots of problems. For instance, the 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 children of today, the youngsters of today, the, they they really do not know where exactly to strike the balance between liking to do whatever they want to do uh, and maintain a sense of privacy whatever we want we call it we call it as privacy they are exhibiting it in through status they whatever they do they, it has to be told to the whole world including their place whether they are all alone at home whether they are they are going through uh, loneliness whether they are going through some relationship issues that invite unnecessarily a lot of other predators and that is how they invite their own harm. Very often we see being very imprudent, exposing their vulnerabilities and invite all the problems. I always believe the problems will not come by itself. We have to go invite it. And that process of going and inviting a problem to our own selves is what we call as being imprudent. So rather being prudent, Jesus says, you have to be prudent like serpents. At the same time, he says, okay, cunning like serpents and innocent like dove. Dove, dove. dove is a symbol of peace, harmony. Yeah, we need to be that. But we cannot be also so innocent that that uh, we, we believe we trust everyone, whomever we see. For instance, the whole world is filled with evil. Even in the case of Father um, uh, Stan, lots of other messages also started cropping up. Saying, he deserved it, he deserved it. There are people who still think he deserved it because... They want to spread this evil, this hatred. So it is not that we are living in a very, very nice world where everyone is good, everyone is trustworthy. No, there are also evil elements in this whole world. So I cannot be very innocent or rather I would call it as I cannot be so foolish. And this, this, uh, this quality of being prudent is very, the, the need of the hour I would even, even say I, I repeat it very often. I have repeated also in the previous last year's online mass. I always um, uh, quote my rector in uh, in our, in our um, during our study of theology. He used to tell us, "In your pastoral mission, be prudent." And he used to give us an example. Imagine there is a drunkard in your village. You are a parish priest, and you want to convert his soul. And you have no other option to find him. He is only all the time he is found in the bar. With all your goodness as a parish priest, as a pastor, you go every evening to the bar and sit with him and counsel him. Maybe you counsel him for a week or so. 
you know what will happen the whole village will call you as the parish priest as a drunkard parish priest without even seeing what you're doing inside and our, our rector used to say we cannot blame the people for branding you that way you have to be blamed because you were imprudent in going to the bar and counseling a drunkard that is that explains everything dear friends let us pray for this beautiful gift of the holy spirit if only we can master this if only we can be filled with this prudence most of the problems that we face in our personal lives will be solved Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our savior and redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Sing Hosanna in your praise. He is blessed who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and George Anthony Sam, your Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God who takes the sins of all the world Lamb of God who takes the sins of all the world Show us mercy and want us all the peace of Christ Lamb of God who takes the sins of all the world Behold the Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
prayer after the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord and He gives me a song. Though the storm clouds darken the sky oh the heavenly trail, I just keep trusting my Lord. He will never fail He's a faithful friend Such a faithful friend I can count on Him To the very end I just keep trusting my Lord As I walk along I just keep trusting my Lord, and He gives me a song. Though the storm clouds darken the skies, oh, the heavenly twelve. I just keep trusting my Lord, He will never fail. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.